Marriage is work. Marriage is a career. It's not an adventure. You do more before five than most folks do all day. It's like the military. My wife and I, we're together about six, seven years. We're married. We divorced about 10, 11 years. Now we're back together, married eight years. Because we're both so damaged, we can't be with nobody else. We had to come back home. Once you've been married to each other, you're trained. I'm trained. I ain't got time to train nobody else. She ain't got time to train nobody else. Everybody's jacked up. Go back to the one you had. I thought you was crazy. Everybody crazy. I know you're crazy. I can deal with your crazy. And all you men out here, 55 years old, trying to date some girl 20 like she like you. Are you out your mind? She wants your house. I don't see no 20-year-old girls with a broke down 55-year-old man with no money. You don't see no girl 20. Oh, he's, look at, look at the homeless dude, but he's cute. Hey, hey. She wants you to die. If you keep messing with her, you will. You want a woman that understand the signs of stroke. That's what I'm looking for. A woman that got my medication in her purse. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I thought you took it. I thought I did. You want a woman that's your nurse. See, if you go to dinner with a woman that's 55 years old and you, your little lip curl up, she know what to do. Hey, 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 hey. Jamal, Jamal, look at me. Jamal, look at me. She'll get you to a hospital and save your life. But a girl 20, quit making faces at me. It's not funny anymore. Now you all stroked out for the rest of your life because your little cute girlfriend didn't know the signs of stroke. She come visit you in the hospital. I ain't know where the stroke was. I tried to tell you. I don't understand you. I had a stroke. Well, can I have your house now? Since you can't live there no more. <laughs> marriage is about growing old together. Marriage is about falling apart at the same time. That's what makes it special. You live long enough, the two of you become one good person. You become one. One can see, one can hear. One can walk, one can use their hands. You need each other. You have to go to movies together. One listens, one watches. You become a team. One got a good right hip, one got a good left hip, and you balance. They're so cute together. No, they fall down. They need one another. <laughs> Woo! Because see, once, once you've been with somebody so long, you just understand stuff. You have the same vision, you share glasses. You got glasses all over the house. Wait, girl, let me go. I think they're behind the stove. I always had 20-20 vision all my life. I can't see now. You know how I found out? I'm in a movie theater, and I'm the only one going to just, focus it! And usually other people join in with you. They were like, you might want to move down toward the front, Sinbad. So now I got them progressive glasses so I can see far at the top and I see close at the bottom. But then they told me you can drive with it. No, you can't. You got to learn the sweet spot. You got to find the sweet spot. You know how many times I stop at a stop sign? Ah, it's way out there somewhere. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's right here, my bad, I'm sorry. So I want to help you ladies with questions you have. Anything you might have, some about a man that throws you off, some about your man that drives you crazy, I'll fix it in 13 seconds. You don't need no long counselings. Any woman, somebody man make you mad, anything, something, shout it out, shout it. Be romantic. What does that mean? You got to be specific with a man. I don't even know what you're talking about. Be romantic. What? Fix the screen door? What? What do you want me to do? I want romance. I want romance. What? 
Hold your hand, what? <laughs> then say it. Look at your man, hold my hand. Ah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> now you finally got what you're looking for. <laughs> I want romance, I want, could you read those books? How to make love last forever, how to have romance forever. Too much work. <laughs> Just say what you want. You got a man always forget your birthday? Forget that. Buy yourself a car. Look what you got me. <laughs> He'll remember next year. <laughs> I'll never forget your birthday again. That one cost me a lot of money. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm help. What confuses you most about women? I'll fix it. What confuses you most about women? And I'm going to fix it for you. I'm going to help you understand it. That they act like nothing. You're not married, are you? Because you're talking. <laughs> she ain't here, is she? Why are you talking? You ain't learned nothing. You have learned nothing in your life. That's why you stay in trouble. <laughs> you know what she did? She did this. <laughs> she so you don't know what that means. You're a single man. That means this man's in trouble. He don't even understand. She did that. 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 They're going to be in the car. What? Why you always got to say something? He asked me something. That's a man that's sleeping downstairs tonight. Look at all these men. Look at these married men sitting here. They're trying to assume the position of getting in no trouble. That's your job as a man to get in trouble. That's your job. Your problem is you're trying not to be in trouble. Accept the trouble. And be sarcastic with it. Piss them off. That's half the fun of being married. You did that on purpose. Oh, yes, I did. That's foreplay. They need to have training for husbands, men training for husbands. How to be a husband, how to talk, how to survive a day. You got to practice, you got to look in the mirror. What? Oh, no. You got to learn to make those faces. Act like you're trying to speak, but don't let nothing come out. Don't say nothing, but act like you're trying to be involved. <laughs> Men are so confused. I got a son that's 20 years old. My daughter's 23. My daughter says she's trying to find a good man. I said, learn to be by yourself for a second. Don't be crying. <laughs> be, look, she waving. You got a man. Why you raise your hand? She think this. You with a man. She said, that's right. <laughs> look what you just did. That's right. Be by yourself. As you hold his hand. <laughs> what was that about? That's right. Be by yourself. I'm talking about you. Now, if he had done that, that's right. Oh, really? <laughs> You've been in the parking lot. What? What did I say? <laughs> well, slow down. <laughs> you better love that man. He got you a front row seat. At least it's good for a show. See, young, how old are you? How old are you right now? How old are you? 34. You say, you're still young, man. You got, you know, see, my mom, my mom's generation, they know how, they, they know how to work. My mom worked my dad. My mom know how to get my dad put patio in, build a guest room. They know how to work a brother back in the day. <laughs> my dad was like a slave. You need to put that roof up. <laughs> she look at her, my man, my man can do everything. <laughs> All she had to do was give him some Kool-Aid. Working, working it, work, work, work. Because my mom got styled. Young ladies, y'all got to get styled back. Y'all angry, y'all angry. Y'all angry, y'all just... <laughs> just mad. Smile sometime. You might have a good man, you just don't know it. You just stay so angry. What, Ladies, what are y'all mad about? Let me help, what are y'all mad about? What? Cause we no good. Every man no good. Every man. See, that's one woman. Every man. You dated everybody? Or did you miss somebody? Maybe that's the problem. You dating too many people. Pick one. See what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. What makes a man no good? I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help ladies out. He lies. That's how you make a relationship stay alive. If a man does not lie, the relationship is done because you ask questions that make no sense. So I have to lie. If you don't want me to lie, quit asking me questions. 
You keep asking me questions that you know I have to lie at. Do I look fat? No, no. If you wasn't fat, you wouldn't have asked. That's why you asked the question. Skinny people don't say, do I look fat? Skinny people say, do you want to eat? Would you like to have a sandwich? She just wants to see how dumb you are when you tell the truth. And men, all you young men, don't you fall for this one. Even if it hurts me, even if it hurts me, tell me the truth. They'll say how stupid, how stupid is the man I'm with? You lie, lie, lie. Now I'm not talking about lying about cheating, lying about other women. I'm talking about little things that you have to lie about. All those little things they ask you, all kind of stupid stuff, stupid things. Do, do, I, do you like this movie? No, I hate the notebook. I hate it. I hate it. It's not even real. It's not real. Women love those kind of movies where she had, she had Alzheimer's and, he, and she didn't know him anymore. And he wrote a book. Remember when I met you? We were riding a bike. In real life, he came to the hospital. You know me? No. <laughs> it sounds wrong, but it's the truth. See, these, these books and all, remember, it's all these, these books and these talk shows that women who don't have a man. All these books and talk shows with women who don't have a man telling you how to lose the man you got because they want you to be just as lonely as they are. <laughs> men are so simple, we freak you out. We're so simple, you can't get to it. Men are simple. We're so simple, it bothers you. You don't understand the simpleness of men. Okay, this is how simple a man, this is two men in the car and he make a wrong turn. Dude, man, <laughs> that's it. We're gonna turn left and come back. That's how simple, that's solid. This is you and your wife. Oh God, oh! Why would you turn there? Why? Let's just go home. I don't even wanna go now. I don't even wanna go. The whole night is ruined. Because I turn left, I can turn back around. No, I, I have a headache now. <laughs> men sometimes heard, this is men. This is what we do to speak you up. This is a man acknowledging you. Okay, that means I heard you. But that's not enough for a woman. Okay, now say it back, say it back. Say what I said. <laughs> oh, now it's an SAT test. I have to pass the test. This is two men having a conversation. Man, you gonna go to the club? Yeah. <laughs> Done. What time? What time would you be there? What? No. If you, where, what way you gonna go? Well, how would you get there? If you don't know where he's at, why would you say gonna go? You don't even know where you're going. You don't even know where you're going. You said yes. You don't even know where you're going. I got a GPS. <laughs> don't overcomplicate the situation. Make it simple. What else, ladies? Men on what? Men don't know how to find anything. Like what? I found everything I need. I can't find your stuff. <laughs> I found everything that belonged to me. Except for the one that you moved to a better spot that makes more sense. <laughs> when you move my shoes to a better spot, because that's the spot you like. <laughs> what else, ladies? Huh? Snoring. Snoring. Did he snore when he met you? Did he snore when he met you? He didn't when you sucked the life out of him. He has no air. He had a lot of air when you met him. He used to sleep at night. Now he's... He's just trying to survive the night. He ain't snoring, he's dying. A little bit each night, a little bit. Y'all call it sleep apnea. We call it marriage. There's not a man here that's single with sleep apnea. <laughs> know you get sleep apnea from? Men, see young dudes, you know, women hit you in your sleep. A wife will tag you. She'll have a flashback or something. Look at you. You'll wake up. What the hell? And she'll lie. Something bit me too. Did you get bit? Something bit me too.
I think it's a spider, a spider. <laughs> and I want ladies to know something. We, we do go through things with you. We do go through things with you. You don't even understand it. We go through menopause. Your menopause is our menopause. Your menopause is our menopause. You don't know it, but it is. Because your system is so wacky now. Your temperature system is so wacky. By my bed, I got a parka and some gym trunks. Because I don't know what temperature is going to be when I come home. And you have to go with whatever she feels. Aren't you freezing? Aren't you freezing? Snow is coming in the window. Oh, yeah, I'm freezing. Time to put on my gym trunks. And then it changes five minutes later. I'm burning up. I'm hot. I'm burning up. Oh, time to put on the other suit. And then you sweat out of nowhere. It's not like sweat like this. It's, I thought she peed on me. So, hey, I'm sweating. And the first time a woman has a heart, heart flash, it looks like a heart attack. You okay? Well, I was burning up for a second. That's what I'm saying. They don't need drugs. They need to bottle menopause so you can shoot that. <laughs> Something else, ladies. Any other question? Anything else, a man? Yes. He's what? He's messy. Okay, that's a woman's, what do you mean messy? My shirt's on the floor? Did the house fall down? Did the children die? <laughs> Did the day go on? Does he work? Does he have a job? Leave the shirt on the ground. It ain't your shirt. <laughs> Why are you stalking him around the house, following him? That's his clothes. Those are not your clothes. Look at this. Don't bother me. Look at that. Look at that. Don't bother me. You can't take it. You can't take that. Learn to do this. See how free I am? This is you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am sick. I am sick and tired of always picking up everything. But quit picking it up. You wearing yourself out. I left that shirt on the floor because I'm going to wear it again tomorrow. It's right where I want it as I go to the door. There's a method to the madness. <laughs> what else? Okay, ladies, what else? What else bothers you about us? Because this is your night. The toilet seat. Because you couldn't put it down by yourself. You didn't see it was up. You found the bathroom. How you missed the toilet seat up? Did you take your eye off the prize? Is that what you did? Did you, did you get to the door and walk in like this? Oh, I'm almost there now. I guess it's down. I guess it's down. I won't look because if he loves me, I shouldn't have to look. I shouldn't have to look. It's your butt. You fell in. You should look. He left the seat up because he loves you. Women don't even understand that. If the seat is up, it means I didn't pee on it. That's the best gift I can give you. If the seat is up, it means it's safe for you to sit down. If you ever walk in the bathroom and the seat is down, don't you trust it. You might stick. Yes, huh? Night humping. Night humping. It's called sleeping. So he humps you at night. If you give him some sex, he quit humping you. Just give him some sex a little bit. He didn't want a lot. Matter of fact, if you get naked, he might freak. He hadn't had some so long. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Wait, hey! I'm just humping. Why are you getting naked? See, know what you do to make a man stop doing stuff? Do what he's asking for. Men, see, that's how men are. You want to freak him out? Next time, when you get to bed, just get in bed naked. Come on, boy. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'll scare him. You forgot how to use your technique. Men act like they want stuff. As soon as you do it, well, I wasn't ready for that. He'll scare him. 
He'll be in the living room. I hope she sleep. I'm still here. Oh, man. Isn't it funny how the whole sex thing changes once you get married? For the first three or four years, you have sex. Then you got to work. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. You got to earn it. It's a trade. It's a trade. They'll come in naked. I'll give you some if you fix something. I fixed the light. <laughs> you got to trade out. You start taking rain checks. You don't, so you date. It's all sexy. You date. What you doing? You, what, you, what you doing? We get married. You want to do something? Well, it's Tuesday. I wish you had said something earlier. I didn't. We usually do stuff on Thursday. I didn't know we were going. Then I need to set some DVRs. I can't. We got to tape our shows. Can't miss our shows. <laughs> get off schedule. We can't get off schedule. And then once you have a baby, all the sex stop. Women freak out. Somebody women wants to have babies like they don't want the baby to know they was freaky. No, no, like the car. The baby will see. The baby's a month old. Men can have sex with a baby looking right at him. <laughs> Who's your daddy? I'm everybody's dad. I'm your daddy. I'm her daddy. I'm everybody's dad. Women freak out on that stuff. Some of y'all got kids at your house, man, they messed up your love life. They messed up your love life. Shh, shh, the kids will come in. Shh, shh. You can learn to have like static sex, okay? You're moving. No, no, I swear I'm not moving. I asked, I was breathing. It's your house. Those kids don't pay for nothing. Take your house back. Don't have quiet sex. Keep the door open. Be loud. They'll only come in once. And they'll never come back. Now you got your house back. That's what you do. <laughs> now I want to help y'all. Who got grown folks at the house? I'm going to help you. Who got grown kids can't get them out the house? Got grown kids? Grown kids can't get them out the house? I'm going to help you. Now they're going to be damaged. This is going to jack them up. But they will leave your house tonight. You and your husband walk around naked and have sex. Grown kids can't take their parents having sex. It freaks them out. While they're eating breakfast, coming in naked into the kitchen. How long are you going to be here? We're going to use that table. Oh, God, Daddy. That's nasty, Daddy. Smack your wife on the butt. Your mama's a freak. They will run out of your house. Oh, we are, we are what we are, we can't help it. And then we get into relationships and things change. You get in relationships, that's why I tell people, before you have kids, travel, see the world. When you first get together, go places. Because once you have children, you're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese, that's all you're going. That's your Europe, that's your France, that's your, that's your Bermuda, Chuck E. Cheese. There's people here who are over 50 with no kids, they don't look old. Look at people with no kids, no wrinkles. They just sit there, oh my God, we're going, we're going to Jamaica next week. And people with kids, you don't know the joy. You don't, you don't know the joy. <laughs> Trying to make you have kids. You need some kids. <laughs> Look how happy I am. Shut up. <laughs> 